Have you ever wondered why it seems like the wicked prosper while the righteous suffer? This perplexing question is at the heart of the book of Habakkuk. The prophet Habakkuk grapples with this very issue, questioning God's seemingly inexplicable tolerance of injustice and evil. He voices his concerns to God, struggling to reconcile his faith with the realities of the world around him. As we delve into the book of Habakkuk, we'll uncover the profound answers provided to these perplexing questions. God's response to Habakkuk's questions was far from what he expected. God, in his infinite wisdom, reveals a plan that is as baffling as it is unexpected. He discloses his intention to use the Babylonians, a nation notorious for its wickedness, as an instrument of punishment against his own people. His people who, despite their disobedience, are considered less wicked than the Babylonians. This divine revelation sends Habakkuk spiraling into a whirlpool of confusion. The prophet finds himself questioning God's justice. How could a righteous God use a more wicked nation to chastise a less wicked one? It's a conundrum that leaves Habakkuk grappling with his understanding of God's ways. But even in the midst of his bewilderment, God's voice echoes with a reassurance. A reminder for Habakkuk, and indeed for us all, that his ways are beyond our comprehension. This response leaves Habakkuk in a state of bewilderment, yet God reassures him to trust in his divine plan. In the midst of confusion and despair, Habakkuk makes a profound declaration of trust in God. This pivotal moment marks a shift in Habakkuk's narrative as he transitions from a state of puzzlement to one of profound faith. In the face of God's revelations, Habakkuk is initially bewildered. His mind grapples with the complexities of divine plans that seem to contradict his understanding of justice. Yet despite this confusion, Habakkuk makes a conscious choice. He chooses to trust, to submit to the divine wisdom that far surpasses his own. This trust is not blind, but rather deeply rooted in his acknowledgement of God's sovereignty and justice. Habakkuk understands that God's ways, though beyond human comprehension, are always grounded in righteousness. This understanding fuels his trust, turning his bewilderment into a firm belief. As we reach the conclusion of the book, we witness Habakkuk in a state of praise. He declares that even in times of hardship and desolation, even when the fig tree does not blossom and there are no fruits on the vines, he will still rejoice in the Lord. His joy is not dependent on circumstances, but on the unwavering trust in his God. Habakkuk's journey from questioning to trusting God provides a timeless message of faith in the face of adversity. No matter the circumstances, we can rest assured that God is in control and his plans are always just.